Benjamin Franklin Summer Institute. Great. Hi, um, I'm Adrian Rarive. Uh, I'm from Liège. I'm 19 years old. I'm currently studying uh, political science at University of Liège. Hi, I'm Lina and I come from Hautala Herichtre and I'm studying political sciences in Leuven. Well, it all started with my English teacher uh, in high school. Uh, she got a letter from uh, the US Embassy with this contest and um, it was about writing an essay um, about the relationships between the US and Belgium. And I decided to take a shot and to try out. I was just surfing on the internet and then I found out about the, the contest. Um, and um, I applied directly because it, the deadline was like one day after. So I started writing the same evening and I sent it in the next morning. Writing the essay was, um, was a challenge because I wanted it to, to be really nice in English. Uh, I wasn't really sure of my, of my level of English. So it was frightening at the beginning, but then, you know, when you start writing, you just say, oh, what the hell, I just want to, I just want to participate. And, you know, I, that's what I did. And I, and I got into the finals. So um, it can be frightening, but if you write it with your heart, with you, what you believe really, truly, it shall be fine. Like I'm trying to remember what I wrote. Um, I think it was about youngsters in Belgium and, and uh, the United States, how, how I uh, saw the future between them. Uh, and turns out I was selected uh, as the finalist. So I had to, to have an interview with um, uh, public uh, diplomacy officers. And um, it was really nice. It was about my, what I liked, uh, why I applied, and uh, what were my, my ambitions. Um, and I, it turns out I, I won the contest. Some day after, they called me and they said I was in. And that was really an amazing moment. I, it, was, it felt so great. Um, and I was so surprised, um, so happy, and all the things that followed were just great. And it's about diplomacy. It's about um, getting young people together and work on diplomacy, on international relationships. Um, it's also about uh, building bridges between countries, uh, building also um, true uh, friendships. I like the whole concept. I really wanted to go to the United States. Um, it's really a country, I think, to, to a lot of youngsters that it's really appealing. So when you arrive, there's a bunch of mentors right there. They, uh, they welcome you, they hug you, they're really warm. Um, you get to meet a lot of people from uh, a lot of places in the world. That's a really great opportunity to, to discover different cultures and different uh, point of view. That was also a great opportunity to have debates on international issues, on cultural issues, and of course to, to get uh, to know a lot of people and so to build great, great friendships. It's really a youth camp but with more content. There's more to it, um, but still you have those fun moments with the other youngsters. Everything is really at ease. There's no pressure, there's no stress. Uh, you do really a lot of nice things, um, but at the same time you learn a lot and I think that's, that's the main difference with a normal camp. Yeah, we had sports activities sometime. We went to a uh, uh, roller coaster park, uh, uh, um, a water park, uh, and also there was, yeah, free afternoons. Like we were in Washington DC and we had a uh, time out uh, in the afternoon so we, we could, you know, uh, get to see the, the city, amazing city. Same in uh, Philadelphia, we went to Philadelphia and we could, you know, hang out in the street as well. It was really amazing to just to relax a bit. So it was a really great balance between um, interesting lectures and, and classes and free time for, for um, social activities. Um, we, the first weeks we were at Wake Forest, um, but then we also spent one week in a host family. So then uh, it, it changed. Some people were in that place, other in that place. But that was in the neighborhood and then we made a trip to Philadelphia and to Washington DC. I mean, besides the, the fun, the, the great lectures and all these classes you have, you, you, you get to meet really a lot of people and yeah, and afterwards it continues, you know. Just to meet um, so many young people from so many different countries, it's uh, amazing and uh, that's one of the main reasons that I really wanted to participate. It was only three weeks. It was, 
amazing. Three weeks is really short, trust me. Uh, once you're there, you meet people, you get friends with them really fast, you get along so, so well, and then time times passes by really fast and you, you just don't want to go home. I really remember it as a joyful experience uh, with a lot of friendly people, a motivated people, enthusiastic. So uh, I think that would describe uh, it for me. I have friends uh, since two years and we still uh, see each other. Uh, we're planning road trip in the US. Uh, my American friends are coming in, in Europe, so I show them around. We go together. I'm going to Miami uh, this summer. So it, it continues, you know, it doesn't stop with the program, it, it continues. Um, I think it would be a great experience for every youngster um, to, to open uh, oneself for uh, other cultures, uh, for other people in general, uh, to learn about um, different st um, political structures. Um, even though it doesn't sound really appealing, it is really interesting and they bring it in a, in a nice way and um, you participate a lot. It's really nice. It's also good for your skills in English, uh, for your skills in and debating. If you're interested in international affairs and if you're interested in having a great time with great people, um, if you, you want to build new uh, friendships and if you want to discover many things about other cultures, then yeah, apply because that's what BFTF is all about. You will make so many new friends which will look good on Facebook. BFTF, we want you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> BFDF, just do it. And um, that's pretty much it. <laughs>